Hey guys, this is Mike the Wrestling Godsman, and you're watching All Wrestling, the premier wrestling TV show that focuses on Raw, SmackDown, NXT, and many more. So, as you may know, guys, I just got finished watching Raw, so I'm going to give you my breakdown of the Raw that I saw today. So, you know what? Raw was really good. We had a women's title match, we had a women's tag team title match, um, the Kabuki Warriors against Becky and Charlotte Flair. And I'm, I'm telling you, it was a really good match because I, I do like the, the miss that Asuka has. I like the miss in the eyeliner. I do like the entrance because it's still a cool looking entrance. And you know what? The crowd was into the match. But I like that Shayna Baszler, like uh, she came out, like she came out, and she was looking, like she was, she was smiling at Kyrie Sane and Asuka. How they came and they got their ruthless aggression, like this new aggressive streak in them. And the crazy thing is, like, like yo, the funny thing is, during like the la like the middle of the match, Shayna gets on the apron and tries to distract the ref, right? So. Becky's still trying to get the ref to, to, to turn around and not get distracted. And Beck and Bailey comes out of nowhere because I didn't see her for it. Because I'm like, who who has a white like a white shirt? Because she just had a white shirt on and some like and some pants and some joggers. So I'm like, yo, she just grabs, she just grabs Sonia, so, so, um, she had a Baszler off the apron. They start brawling, and she she thought that she was gonna get one up on Shayna, and Shayna just throws her into the barricade. Literally throws her into the barricade. No. She, this is like no. She get they fight and then Becky gets pinned by Oscar with a roll up, which is the dirtiest thing I've ever seen her do. And she does that, and she just beat like and then Becky and and, and Becky and and Shannon are staring each other down. Then Bailey comes out of nowhere and just just attacks Shannon, then brings her out from the crowd, beats on her. And then, and then, and then, Bailey just, and then, Bailey throws her into the, the barricade. And I'm like, and I'm still wondering, like, her outfit was a white shirt and some Converse. Who's still wearing Converse in this, in this century? Like, I haven't seen, no, I've never seen anybody wear Converse sneakers. I used to wear Converse. I didn't even know Converse was still hip. And the funny thing was, she got the mascara on because she's all happy and stuff and cool and junk and everything else. And I'm like, yo. And here's my thing, right? Like, and this is the thing too. And, and SmackDown think they always did matter because now that SmackDown gone, we they retaliated. And then we had a um, and then we had a twenty four seven match. No, we had a Drew McIntyre match against Sin Cara, but that was a that was a squash match. Cause, Sin, Cause Drew is relentless. He he is a he is a big guy for being six point seven. This dude two hundred like three hundred like three hundred fifty plus pounds. Like, his brother was, like, beating the crap out of his car. Like, he was kicking him and just knocking him out. Like, he has those big, like, he can give you those big chops. He can give you, like, an axe handle. And the funny thing is, he does, he, he does a, um, a power bomb to Sin Cara on the outside of the ring. And he was out. I thought he was going to get, like, a count out. Or, like, they were going to stop the match because he was done. And then Drew brings Sin Cara back into the ring and he did the, 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 um, the Claymore. Claymore kick. I thought he was gonna do the the Glasgow clinch because I like I actually like that special more than the kick. Cause it does a little bit more, and or do future shot because I wonder if he still has that special future shot. Cause I like I like Drew McIntyre actually. I like him because he was like get out. And the thing that I'm I'm glad, I'm glad that he's actually he is actually from Scotland because I think he might be from Glasgow. He could be from Glasgow because I know. Um, him and Noam Dar are from different parts. Like I think he, I think he might be from Wales, Scotland, because I'm pretty sure. Because there's other parts of Scotland that everybody's from. And the crazy thing was, and I and I'm gonna be honest with you, because I love the um, I did, and I love the um, the twenty four seven thing with Archer, because he he tried to win against the same brothers are stupid, but like the twenty four seven title, I want him to like. I'm glad that he's like the longest reigning like twenty four seven champion. Because the crazy boy thing, like he, they were chasing each other around the ring, so they go out the ring. They were fighting. They were like he was trying to get quick early, and then they go the twenty four seven match. I forgot it still goes on. It's like a false count anywhere match. 
So they're running around the room, running around the locker rooms. And the Singh brothers go into the women's locker room. They start screaming. And then they, they yell. And he just, and our troop just bangs on the door. Like, get them out of there. Get them out of there. Hey, like, get them out of there. And then they, they run into it. They run into a door. Not knowing that it's another locker room. And they, and they turn on this turn on the switch and there's Eric Rowan big and mean as can be they're scared to the crap they I don't even know why would you lock the door you would have I would have I would have ran out I would have ran out grabbed the title would have ran but he just beats the crap out of him he picks him up throws him against the wall throws him against the door throws the couch hit him with the hit him with the couch the on um, the couch And Arjun says, I'm going to need to give him some privacy. He was scared. He turned off the lights and everything. He closed the door. That was scary. And Seth comes out and does a promo on NXT, right? He says, Triple H, I've been wondering, like, all the last couple of weeks about NXT. And then Triple H comes down and tells me, you're with me. And he wants, I was going to be with NXT. He's like, well, heck, I, I had nothing to lose. And knowing he's got the black and gold colors on, I'm like, Really? And the thing was, out of nowhere, you know, he says, "If anybody, I want, I don't want to, I want to fight England. I want to fight England's best." And then, dun 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 dun. dun. And then Walter's music hits, and I was happy. Imperium comes out, Walter comes up, and he's like, "My name is Da, the Da, Da Ring General Fort." And I am the WWE United Kingdom champion. And the funny thing is, Seth was like, I know, I, I've heard everything about you. I know everything about you. He's like, you may be right. You are the WWE um, United Kingdom champion. And he's like, I appreciate you coming out and, and trying to challenge me. And it was a really good match. It was really back and forth. Walter, like, Walt Imperium, and I love them. I love um, Fabian and Art, uh, uh Fabian Eichner and Bartel, I love them both, and I love Wolf. I love Wolf Game. I still love him. I I do. I mean, I mean, Alexander, um, Alexander Wolf. I love him because he's really cool. I like him. I like that they're together. I like that they're all together, together, together. You know what I mean? And you know what? Because they were. Cause the thing is, Seth had on Walter on, on the on the ropes, and he was gonna do. A, I think he was gonna do a curb stomp. And then Imperium gets involved. They start beating on seven, have a, and they disqualify the match. So he gets in a he gets into a fight, and dun, 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 the street the street profits come out and they start beating. And then Kevin Owens comes out and he starts brawling with he starts brawling with um Imperium. I think I really think somebody actually messed up um Alexander Wolf's um yeah Alexander Wolf's hair, and I will tell you guys. Tonight was really good at Raw. Like, this NXT Raw, like, this NXT Invasion is, I can't wait. Like, yo, I'm so, I'm so hungry for Survivor Series right now. I wish it was, I wish it was Thanksgiving right now. I wish it was Sunday so I could watch this up, yo. I'm telling you, NXT is going. And they're gonna, they are gonna win. They are no joke. Dad Imperium. And if Walter comes in, whoo! Imperium and Pete Dunn and um the undisputed era yo it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a massacre it's, and this and I said and I even said it to you guys my predictions were right guys there was gonna be an all out brawl and there was it was a war but I'm telling you guys Raw was really good tonight the segments were good the the matches were good. Um, like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, comment, subscribe. Peace.